Um, but another cool thing that you've started uh, is the trend to hand over your Twitter to a woman on International Women's Day. Um, what was it that inspired that idea from the first place? So for the record, it wasn't a totally original idea. It was inspired by an initiative I saw in America called Share the Mic Now, where uh, white people with, sorry, white women with huge followings on Instagram shared their feed with black women for International Women's Day. I think it was two years ago now. Um, and I followed it and I thought it was great. And I thought that people in our industry could do a similar thing on Twitter. So yeah. I invited people with over 10,000 followers to invite women they knew or were inspired by to tweet from their account on inter, uh, International Women's Day last year. Yeah. Um, and loads of people did it and they loved it. And so many people said their feed was so interesting and exciting that day because they were reading tweets from people they might not have known about. And because the tweets had to be planned in advance, it was all really considered. And it wasn't just someone talking about what they had for lunch or complaining about the weather. Like it was just more productive and interesting. Um, and I've continued to do it because I loved it so much and it was so good. I continue to do it every month. Um, a couple of other people have too, and some do it on LinkedIn. And it's just a really great way to get to know people and to promote people. Um, the, the problem was at the time that I came up with it or introduced it, um, Elon Musk was, there was, you know, he was about to buy Twitter, I think. So I'd gone with the hashtag Twitter takeover. And that also meant the, the Twitter takeover of Elon Musk. <laughs> so there was some slight confusion, but I've kept it. I've kept yeah. at it. It is a Twitter takeover if anyone's looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your trend is still going and uh, Elon Musk isn't, so. <laughs> well, yeah, true. He owns <laughs> it. Let's see how long he owns it for. But that's another thing, though. Like, things are, I think, you know, people say a lot that Twitter just feels very different these days. And it does. But I just, rather than sort of giving into it, because it has been such a great place to build communities, I'm reluctant to let it go. And when it's good, yeah. it's good. And I just feel like with anything in life, like you put positivity out and you get positivity in. So um, I will keep doing things like Twitter Takeover and Copyrights Unite until I have no choice but to not do it, I suppose. <laughs>